everybody welcome back to epic beauty fail i'm jessica on today's video i'm going to be doing day two of the august five days of foundation and today i am using the makeup forever pro finish multi-use powder foundation so this is in the shade 110 pink porcelain go ahead and pull it out of the packaging okay here it is it's just a little black compact there is a push button no no nope, not a push button you just lift it up okay so here is the shade that I got. It, like I said, it is uh, 110. It's supposed to be very pink and actually like on the pictures and everything it shows it is very pink, but on like real life, it doesn't look super pink to me. And then underneath there is a sponge that you can use as well and a little vented compartment. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I'm not gonna be using that sponge. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the website and read to you a little bit about this foundation. So I'm actually on my computer. I had brought it up on my cell phone, but for some reason the details were not showing when I brought it up on my cell phone. I guess it was just like the, the web enabled webpage didn't have the details on it. So. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you from the website on my computer right down here, which is why I'm probably looking down here. So it says it's a breakthrough multi-use formula applied as a foundation or setting powder. The Pro Finish is formulated with exclusive, it says vegetal, uh, coated biomimetic pigments that let you customize your foundation result with build buildable coverage. It's lightweight, non-chalky texture blends seamlessly for a long wearing natural matte finish. Enriched with nourishing ingredients, it hydrates and soothes the skin for ultimate comfort. This versatile compact is perfect for on the go applications as well as touch ups throughout the day. Best suited for normal to combination skin, mineral oil free, choose from a wide range of shades to find your perfect match. So here are all the shades. I will show you um, the shades on my phone. There they are. It does actually have a, a decent selection, not completely encompassing, but a decent selection. So that's what, 25 shades? Yeah, it looks like 25 shades. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and get this on my face. Before we do, I will let you know what I put on. I put on the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. Um, I am almost done with this. I actually already have a backup, so I'm gonna try to use this up in the next month or so, hopefully, maybe. Um, and then I also have the Cover FX Blurring Primer. Um, got this in a boxy charm, maybe, a couple months ago. So that's what I have on as my primers today. And I'm gonna be using the same brush that I did in yesterday's video. This is the Sonia Kashuk Flat Top Foundation Brush. Uh, and we're just gonna to go to town. So hopefully this has a little bit more coverage than yesterday's foundation, but we shall see. All right, here we go. So far it's about the same. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and I will let you know if the buildable claim is accurate as well. Okay, so I think I have a full face on of this. Uh, I'm trying to see if I missed anything. I'm also not getting a lot of coverage underneath my eyes with this. Um, that's fine. I'm not going outside my house today. I'm just going to be hanging out at home. Uh, I have started working a new job and I'm actually able to work from home now. So I'm putting my makeup on in the morning and then starting work. So um, I'm getting the same problem that I was getting yesterday where it's very pink. Now I feel like this one is covering up my freckles more. Like right in here, you can't see the freckles as much as you could yesterday. And I don't know, over here, I'm still seeing some freckles, but again, not quite as much yesterday. So I would say that this is probably more of a light medium coverage, whereas yesterday I would say it was more of a light coverage. Now I will tell you that I'm looking very pink here. It doesn't appear as though I'm looking as pink on the viewfinder, um, but I just used the wee little viewfinder on my camera, so I'm not sure 100% about that. Um, but I am looking very pink, but I was yesterday as well. So I can't say that it's necessarily the foundation um, as much as just I'm, I'm, I'm pink. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of uh, rosiness in my cheeks and my nose. 
Um, I would say it's rosacea. I've never actually gone to a dermatologist to get uh, classified as having rosacea, so I can't say for certain that it is actually rosacea. But anyhow, um, yeah, we're going to go with that. Uh, I don't feel like it was super buildable, like at all. Um, but it's okay. All right. The current time now is 9.08. So 9.09. Um, so I'm going to go ahead real quick and put the rest of my makeup on and I will be right back to talk a little bit more about this foundation as it sits on my skin for a little bit. All right. I will be right back. All right, everybody. I am back. Uh, on my cheeks, I put Tarte, uh, 24 or 12 hour, excuse me, Amazonian clay blush in the shade party on my cheeks just a little bit because I already felt like I was already really red on my cheeks or very pink on my cheeks. So I just put a touch of that on my cheeks. And then uh, I used my Fenty Beauty Hi Kilowatt highlighter in I think Fire Crystal. I'm trying to open this. <laughs> Why can't I get it open? Okay, there it is. Okay, so I used, um, I'm sorry, Lightning Dust, The um, this one over here. I used that one on my cheeks, just the more subtle, subtle highlighter. And then on my eyes, I used uh, the Milani Eyeshadow Primer, the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I used uh, Tempera on my entire lid, and then Sienna in my crease, and then rose pink just all over the lid. So just a couple of shades today. I wanted to do a real quick look. And then uh, my mascara is probably my favorite combination right now. My roller lash on my upper lashes and my wet and wild mega slim on my lower lashes. And then on my lips, I have the ColourPop lippy stick in cream in Aquarius. Um, so just a very simple, simple look today. Again, I'm going to be home all day. Um, I might go out tonight after work, but not like out, out, but like run errands and stuff after work. But yeah, not, nothing too dramatic. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in. Actually, let me tell you the time real quick before this did not take me long at all. It is 923. So it took me less than 15 minutes to get this look pulled together, which is probably best, right? But I'm going to go ahead and call 9.10 the check-in time. Um, literally, it took me like a minute or two to put the blush and highlighter on. So it took me about 10 minutes to do my eyes and lipstick, but about a minute or two to put my blush and highlighter on. So I'm just going to call 9.10 the check-in time. So I will be wearing this till at least 5.10 this evening. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in. Okay, so... Honestly, I don't have a problem with this at all. Uh, my biggest thing is that I'm looking very, very pink on my cheeks. I'm looking in the viewfinder and even on the viewfinder, it looks uh, fairly pink. Um, but this is supposed to be pink porcelain. So uh, my biggest problem is that neutral porcelain was looked very yellow on the website. So I didn't actually go in store to swatch these. In fact, I don't think my Sephora, which is in a JCPenney, actually has these in store. Um, but I, I didn't put any contour on today. I don't think I mentioned that, but I didn't put any contour or bronzer on today. Um, so I'm looking very pink, which if I wasn't wearing makeup, I'd look pink anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. Oh, I forgot to say I used um, the Morphe setting spray. Uh, just looked down, it was sitting there. Anyway, um, I'm liking this so far. It, it looks, like I said, it looks natural right now because I look pink anyway when I'm not wearing makeup. It might be a little bit more pink. Uh, and you can see my neck is not real pink. So it's not really mat matching my neck very much. Um, I do have some sun on my neck because we just went to the beach this past weekend for a couple of days. Um, so it it's not too bad. Uh, I might actually mix this with another foundation in the future when I try this again, just to see if I can tone down some of the pinkness. But for now... I think it looks really nice. It, it it sort of made my entire face look pink. So it has sort of balanced out my, my coloring. Uh, but overall, I don't think it looks bad. I don't think it looks bad. Um, I'm going to keep an eye around my nose and on my chin where I was having problems yesterday. But so far, it looks fine. So I'm going to go ahead and start working. And actually, I was working and then I took a break to film this part of the video. And now I'm going to go back to work. Um, anyway... I will see you guys in about four hours around lunchtime, maybe a little bit after one o'clock. So I will see you guys then. All right, everybody, I am on my front porch again. 
you can see my reflection in the, the uh, window, but um, it is a couple minutes after one o'clock. So I'm gonna try to turn here. I don't know which direction to go in, but anyhow, we're here for the midday check-in. I'm outside, it's a little bit bright. By a little, I mean a lot. So I'm gonna try to stand in the uh, shadow here just so that I'm not like totally washed out. But looking in the mirror, now that I'm like, like in natural light, I don't feel like it looks as red as it did. So I think this shade actually works pretty well for me. I don't think the shade's a problem. And I'm not getting the same problems that I had, for example, yesterday. So like here along my chin, in my nose creases, it's a little bit there, but not nearly as much as it was yesterday. And maybe some of that is I didn't put as much on today because I didn't have to, um, I don't know. But overall, midday, I actually think it's looking really, really good. Uh, I think every part of my skin looks pretty good right now. So, so far, this foundation is looking really, really nice. I'm liking it a lot, actually. Um, I feel like I'm wearing nothing on my face, except for occasionally my nose will get itchy, which <clears throat> my nose gets itchy pretty much every time I wear foundation. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't feel like, uh, this, I don't feel like I have anything on my skin. So, so far this is actually looking pretty good. I feel like, like four hours in, I'm a, I'm a couple minutes early, but I think it looks pretty good. All right. I'll see you guys a little bit after five. Okay, everybody. Welcome back. The time is now 524. So I've had this on for a little bit over eight hours. Um, I'm having a similar problem to what I was having yesterday. If you saw yesterday's video, um, with the, the, uh, pure powder foundation that I tried on yesterday, um, eight hours in, I'm looking very oily, uh, very shiny. And this one was actually more of a matte foundation when I started. So, I mean, it is summer. It's the middle of July, although I have been inside for most of the day. Um, I do have an air conditioning unit in this room and this is where I work when I work from home. I have my work computer set up and then I have my Epic Beauty Fail set as well. But I've been for the most part in this room, my air conditioning unit for this room only, I turn on and off depending on how hot or cold I get. So I, I've been keeping the temperature fairly steady or fa fairly comfortable, I should say. Um, but I am looking a little oily at this point in the day, which is, which is fine. Uh, you know, I could always repowder. That's one of the nice things about powder foundation is that I can always repowder. Um, especially like my nose, I get pretty oily in the center of my face not so much on my forehead I'm looking right now it doesn't look like I'm too oily on my forehead but you know it, it depends on it depends on the day so um right now eight hours in I would tell you that I'm really liking the way this lo is looking uh if I could powder my nose okay sorry about that I did get a call for work and I totally lost my train of thought um but anyhow uh don't remember what I was saying um Anyhow, I guess the bottom line is, is that I am liking the way this foundation is looking. I think if I could powder my nose, which I could, like I could literally sit here right now and powder my nose, but, um, you know, it's, it's just, it's kind of oily <laughs> right now. And that's just my skin in the summer and it's okay. Uh, but overall I'm liking the way this foundation is looking. I would wear this again. It is a little bit, like I said, when I first put it on, uh, earlier today, it is a little bit on the pink side. So I think what I would do is just mix this, um, maybe put this on as a base and then put maybe another foundation powder foundation on top of it, uh, just to neutralize the pink tones a little bit. Um, uh, because it is, like I said earlier, it's a just a little bit pink for me. Um, I think outside it looks okay, but in here, looking in my mirror down here, it just looks a little bit pink. Um, Overall, I really enjoyed how this this has has worn throughout the day. I mean, I feel like it looks very, very natural. Um, I feel like it looks like I really don't have anything on my face. Uh, so I like it. I like it so far. I will keep trying it throughout the month of August and I will let you guys know at the end of August what my thoughts are. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please hit that red subscribe button. I do um, the five foundations every month. M uh, the first uh, solid week, Monday through Friday of each month, I do post the five days of foundation with a roundup at the end of the month, letting you know what I thought of the five foundations so that you're not 
left hanging uh, with my first impressions. So I would appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button if that's something you would find interesting and would like to come back and see. If you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. Have you tried out the Makeup Forever pro finish powder foundation if you have let me know your thoughts it has very good reviews on the the makeup forever website uh very very good reviews in fact um so yeah like i said i like it it's just a little bit pink for me and i th i think the neutral color would just be um a little bit too yellow so anyhow i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next epic beauty fail bye